Phoenix Suns have defeated the Los Angeles Clippers in six games. The Clippers um, put up a fight in the end, but doesn't matter as the Phoenix Suns are able to win and they are headed to the NBA Finals. Chris Paul's first appearance, Devin Booker's first appearance as young Suns team is going to play the winner of the Bucks and the Hawks, who have a series currently tied at two apiece. So initial thoughts here on this win for the Suns and what it kind of just means and uh, what a season it's been for them. Um, the Suns have absolutely been been killer this year and very fortunate too. Um, I mean, I'm not going to dismiss the fact that they have had very good health on their side and not great health on their opponent's side, but the whole season, the Suns have just been consistent. They've been able to, to lead and, and win throughout the whole regular season and kind of just been consistent. Um, people forget this team was one win away from being really the best team in the NBA as far as uh, their record goes and would have had the number one, number one seed if it had not come down to a final game in the regular season for the jazz. And, um, yeah, it's just, uh, this team has been great. It's kind of the ideal thing that you want for a team. Uh, they have a young star, they have an older star that, um, and they, they can play off of each other. They have a, this, uh, Deandre Ayton who is young and, um, does what a, a, a center in the NBA should do. And they have Mikhail Bridges who is kind of your prototypical guy that every, every NBA team wishes they had is as far as size and a three and D kind of a wing. And, and he's a, he fits well with uh, this Phoenix team. You have another veteran like Crowder who comes in and, you know, has been in many playoff series in his career and, and is just experienced, went to the final last year. And then they have a bench that while it, while they were missing Cameron Johnson tonight, um, they've been led by Cameron Payne. They've been led by, just an absolute efficient bench that has been able to help them and, and just go in there and, and do their job. And, you know, Tory Craig was a great pickup for them this year. Um, they still have Abdel Nader who is going to come in and provide some minutes in the finals. And it's just a, just an absolutely great turnaround for the Suns who weren't even in the playoffs last year. And here they are going to the NBA finals. And I couldn't be happier for a guy like Chris Paul. Um, he definitely deserves it. This is a guy who has had his share of playoff issues or um, unfortunate events that have happened in the playoffs for him that may or may not be kind of in his control. You know, you kind of look back to the Houston series when they played Golden State a few years back and, you know, Paul gets hurt and was that his opportunity? And a lot of people thought that that's his opportunity to go to the finals and it's gone. And, you know, he's able to salvage it and, and make, you know, be able to say now that he's going to the NBA finals. And it's just a huge um, opportunity for, for Paul to be able to go to the Suns team and lead them and have this much success with them. You know, so the Suns will now play Milwaukee or um, Atlanta. I do think that this is going to be a, I think Atlanta has to be favored at this point with Giannis' situation being um, up in the air with his health and his knee. It, look, it was a worse injury than than what Kawhi had. And ultimately, I just feel like the Suns just have too much power to overcome if you're one of those teams, especially Milwaukee with, with, without Giannis. So um, it will be interesting to see what happens there. Would I be surprised if the finals go six games with either teams? Look, you can steal a game in a series. Um, I think this year's playoffs have shown that a team can get away with a win. However, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win the series. So would I be shocked if Milwaukee or Atlanta forces six games with the Phoenix? I, I don't think I would be that surprised. I mean, Miami got six games out of the Lakers last year. But ultimately, I do think that Phoenix is going to be able to do this. I do think they're going to be able to win a championship and they're going to be able to um, have this magical year end with hosting the Larry O'Brien Trophy and Chris Paul wins his first title and Devin Booker rises to greatness and this young this young Suns team becomes something that we just didn't think they were going to be at the beginning of the year. So it's been pretty remarkable there and we will see exactly what happens. But in the meantime... Uh, we will wait to see what happens with this Bucks Hawk series. See if anything potentially could come out of that series. Is there a possibility Giannis could be back for the finals if his team makes it there? We don't know. How's Trey Young's health going to be? We'll see. But for now, the Suns are headed to the NBA finals and they look like they're going to win it.
Hi there, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe as we're going to be posting more NBA videos as the NBA Finals is upcoming, along with off-season moves, trade speculation, and the NBA Draft, and all other things basketball.